I'm Paige Proisi. And I'm Craig Cannon. Let's get right to 4029's Brett Rains live tonight on the scene. Brett? Yeah, guys, we're actually on Lone Elm Road, which is also shut down. And let me move out of the way. The reason it's shut down is because it runs right under Interstate 40. Now, as we zoom in, that's what's left of the 18 wheeler semi truck that police say for some reason, possibly to avoid another car. Police say that truck ran off the interstate down the embankment and crashed right between those two bridges. And as you can see right now, there's not much left. You can also see firefighters spraying water from up above those bridges. And we this area was rocked by explosions for more than an hour. And every now and then we'll still hear an explosion, but for the most part, everything's contained and the explosions have died off. And as we said, state police tell us the driver inside that truck did pass away. Police believe that he was the only person inside the truck. And also we know the hazmat crews are on scene assessing the situation. We can tell you that the bridges, they must be inspected before the bridges can reopen. We know with the fire of that magnitude and the explosions that were going on for everyone's safety, those bridges must be inspected before traffic can be allowed to move on over them. And we talked to the highway department spokespeople and they tell us right now they have no idea how long it will be until this section of Interstate 40 is open again. Live in Franklin County, Brett Rains, 4029 News. It's a busy, busy highway across the United States. Okay, Brett, we'll have another update in just a few minutes.